I hinted before that the relationship between momentum and impulse is pretty much the same as the relationship between kinetic energy and work. Recall the work energy theorem that stated that the change in kinetic energy of an object was equal to the net work done on the object. I'll say something similar to that for impulse with the not surprisingly titled impulse momentum theorem. First of all, impulse is force acting through a time. We can break down the force by Newton's second law into mass times acceleration. We have the acceleration times the change in time. By our definition of acceleration, we realize that the acceleration times the change in time is the velocity change, delta v. Mass times the change in velocity, that's just the same thing as saying the change in the product of mass and velocity. Product of mass and velocity is the momentum. So that's equal to the change in momentum. So what we just showed in a very short sequence of transformations is that impulse is the change in momentum. Both impulse and momentum are vectors. They're in the same direction. Now one thing to notice is that impulse has units of newton seconds. Momentum has units of kilogram meters per second. I leave it to you to verify that those units really are the same thing.